Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to talk to you about um, telling search engine robots to follow, no follow, index, or no index. And this can have an improvement on your SEO. And that might be kind of a stretch of the terms, but you can certainly help out just a little bit your SEO by not diluting your pages. Let's get right into it here. So I mapped this particular web page. This is uh, Melanie's Food Fantasy. Looks like a nice vegetarian style diner in Boone, North Carolina. And let me view the page source. And what gave me the idea for this topic, by the way, I was checking out this page the other day and looking at their source code. And specifically, they have the Meta Robots tag in here. And the way they're using it is, is unnecessary. Um, so there was a meta tag, name equals robots, and then with the content attribute you can put in uh, several variations or several options, several values. And over at Melanie's Food Fantasy they've got index follow, which is what this is by default. So technically they could delete this meta tag and not have any issues or differences whatsoever. So it's unnecessary to use a meta robots if you want your page to be indexed and you want your links to be followed. And that's what those two terms mean, those two values. Index the page means record the page by the search engine, and both Google and Bing use these, and follow means to also follow the hyperlinks on the page to their sources and stuff. So this is not a good example, don't need that. And there's a few other things obviously you can change on here too. This is an example of the old school just loading down the meta keywords, and this is why search engines no longer rely on the keywords meta because based on just the keywords it would seem that this web page should be all about Boone North Carolina the word restaurant is used a few times but not as often as it looks like Boone is so you say well this page must be about Boone North Carolina it's really not it's about this restaurant so no need for that meta keywords for search engine optimization but anyway back to this meta robots index and follow so what I'm going to do here, I've got a uh, I got an HTML page set up here That's for something else I was doing, but let me just go ahead and point out a couple variations. So index follow, we have determined you do not need this. Okay, by default, if you do not include a meta robots, search engines will index your page and follow the hyperlinks. However, you could do variations of this. Let's say you were making a page that you didn't want indexed. You know, why would anybody want to do that? Well, there are there are some reasons. It could be a page that's maybe just for family stuff, you know, and you don't really want that to get indexed on a search engine. Or it could be like a maybe a, a sitemap page that you do have for links but you don't actually want that page to get indexed. Maybe, you know, kind of a back-end directory. You want the links followed, which it'll do. You don't actually have to write no index follow, although you could, but you just don't want that page indexed. Now you could do a combination, or you could say no follow, or no follow, no index, or no index, no follow. And this means not only will the page not get stored or indexed, the hyperlinks would not get followed. So those are a couple of the, the most common things that you might do. No index, no follow, or both, no index, no follow. Um, let's see, there's, a, there's another variation you can do, and you can get these obviously from the uh, Google Webmaster um, informational pages also. But they've got a no archive. If I can spell the word archive, there we go. No archive, and you might do this from some from time to time. For instance, this would keep the page from getting cached in Google's storage. Uh, for instance, let's say you're working on Band's website, and you have the uh, let's say the the page where you keep track of tour dates, you know, and shows that are doing. There's probably not a big reason why you'd want that to get archived, and you know, in fact, you may not want it to get archived because you don't necessarily want a year-old page of the band tour dates showing up somewhere on the web. Um, so you might no archive that particular page, even though you do want it to be indexed and followed. And there's a few other options too. Um, another one that might come up is. Uh, no image index. So you could say, you know what, I want this page to be indexed and followed, but this page has a bunch of images that might 
dilute my search engine optimization, might dilute my keyword or not important to the page for some reason, even though I'm still showing them. So you could say no image index. But those are just a few of the options you can do with your meta name robots. So no index, no follow, no archive, no image index. Just a few things you can do there. And I'll go ahead and write them all up. No index, no follow, no archive. And the spaces won't hurt there. You can just separate those values by commas. So those are some things you might do with your meta robots. Now, similar, similarly, you could do this on a hyperlink. So if a web page has some hyperlinks, you can use the relation attribute. no follow and you might do this if you're putting an advertisement or something on your page you could say you know what I do want the advertisement on there because I want some ad revenue or, or whatnot but you might put a no follow relation on the um, on the anchor tag and the search engines will, will still come to your web page they'll still index your web page and they will still follow most of your hyperlinks but if it's got a relation no follow attribute the search engine will not follow that particular hyperlink so that could be something that you might want to do also and it's also something you want to keep an eye out if you are doing some link sharing or if you have an inbound link to your site from somebody else hopefully they're not doing this to you because that's part of the value of having your link on someone else's page is that search engines will go there and then see that that connection from them to you so another way you can use the no follow value so this is a little bit more secondary to improving your SEO but it can still help out by diffusing or or preventing the dilution of pages so if you've got 10 pages and page 11 is just really it's not really good supportive of your stuff but you still want it out there then you would want to no index that so that way the pages that do show up in results are the valuable pages okay take care